Welcome back. Cooking with white canelo. Tonight we're gonna try to do it in English. See if that changes things and I will try to put some subtitles in uh, Instagram. So tonight we're gonna make pasticcio, Greek pasticcio, because the Italian, uh, as far as I know, it was in 1800s. Uh, the first Italian pasticcio to our history. Um, so it's up and it's uh, a dough and inside it has pasta and meat. The Greek pasticcio is a little bit different, has been influenced by a Greek uh, chef in the early 1900s. When he took the French bechamel, he changed it a bit and he used the pasta and ground meat and put the bechamel and made it a casserole. So it's a very different dish from the Italian pasticcio, but uh, here we go. First we're going to start with the onions, 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 I'm looking for the big old knife. Big old knife. And we're going to chop some onions. And of course, all the messages on WhatsApp arriving as soon as I start cooking. Typical. And now my hands are dirty. Just fucking cut myself. Because uh, this knife is sharp as the devil himself. Bonus points if you can name the movie that this phrase was said. It was said in a movie. And it was in the last part of the movie. Yeah. I'm cheating now because there is four parts of the movie. I think that should give enough hints. And if you don't find and ask the AI, the AI you just suck. the red onions because they give a little bit more taste it's a little bit more uh, pity I don't know pity you guys google that shit just sit behind your freaking phone just, you can google that shit so. and now I'm, I'm, you're gonna see me crying tonight shit. onions. I'm gonna put it in the wok because I like to make it in the wok. <laughs> the pain, Lorraine, Lorraine. I hope to see you again, Lorraine. So, onions ready into the frying pan. the fake green meat right now. Shit. So I'm using the different types. I'm using uh, Beyond Hack and uh, Albert Hein Vasilopoulos Hack for those in Greece. Um, Let's see who sent us a message. We have some questions also from the audience. It's
let's answer first. And um, what was the question? So, if I believe there is parallel universes, that's a very good question. And thank you, Maria from Halandri, for the question. Uh, personally, I don't believe they exist. Uh, but it's a little bit irrelevant, because if you have a parallel universe, it's impossible to know that you, that exists. It could be there. If Imagine yourself in a bubble. You're inside the bubble, and you cannot see outside the bubble. If there is another bubble, whatever, around your bubble, it's impossible to know that this bubble exists. So, you could... Yeah. Very good question, though. Um, Parallel universe is, I think, has been derived from um, uh, string theory. String, th yeah. string theory is a string theory. It has gained a lot of momentum the past few years. I don't think it's uh, uh, correct as a theory. It's try it, it be so it became, people start studying. Yeah, I'm putting the ground meeting. Uh, so people start studying and uh, trying to think about uh, uh, string theory in order to give some answers that we have in physics with regards to uh, black holes, uh, singularity, uh, gravity, uh, quantum gravity. It's also uh, quite a and. Yes, it has been a good effort, and the mathematics behind it are actually, personally, I don't understand it. It's very complicated math. Um, and it goes to parallel universe, multiple dimensions, and all these things. Uh, it's a bit too much for my brain. But in the end, it doesn't solve any of these problems. And it goes in a circle and it creates the same problems in a different, more complicated manner. And it, it does not give solutions to the theories that we have issues with. And again, the, the issues that we have, it's only gravity in the end. Black matter exists because we cannot understand gravity in large scales, like in the galaxies, in, the, in our own galaxy. Like our planet should be flying away from the galaxy, right? But there is some mass that we cannot identify what it is that keeps our, the, the stars and the planets in order and don't fly away out in the ring of the arms of the galaxy, but what is that? They call it dark matter because some people believe that it's a particle and it's a heavy particle and we cannot see it, it only interacts with but the end is we don't understand gravity and if we don't understand gravity yeah, how can it uh, some pepper and salt to taste I know I'm jumping from one thing to the other but um, Salt, salt, salt. Shake, shake, shake. So we're gonna uh, still fry this uh, until it changes color. If you're cooking with actual meat, it really changes color. If you're using uh, fake meat, it, it kinda changes color. It, it mostly changes form, so you know when it's enough. Um, you will know when it's enough. And don't feel, don't take it out quick. Oh, don't no. see. I did the same. I lowered the fire too, too, too much too soon. It has to have like strong fire, otherwise it gets too much liquid and it doesn't do what it's supposed to. Anyways, I'll keep doing this, and uh, we'll come back in a few minutes. Yeah, not much has, not much time has passed because actually I have to have to put the peppers in. What we're doing? That's why it's good to have like a large stuff in your kitchen because I'm like, hey boy, cut this stuff. Or if you've got the scallion, you have like six arms, 
and with two arms you do this, two other arms are chopping the peppers and uh, the other arms are texting back your friends. That would be like awesome. That's why I guess Kali is so popular. Wish we had Kali. Kali Ma. Anyway, this is to when cutting. And then we slow down on the end so we don't chop the fingers off. Very important. And see you so we took a small break because of this thing, so I can turn it off right now. Uh, what we did, we still fried, we stopped when we still fried the meat. I had to stop the video to turn the fan on. It was getting a little bit steamy here. And we added some wine, we still fried, and when the, it was getting dry, I put the tomato base thingy, uh, water, I let it boil for half an hour now, and I'm gonna add uh, petersel, uh, parsley. First, I'm chopping the big chunks off, as you can see, and then first I'll move this shit on the side, and then I'll chop fine the parsley. Smells so freaking good. No freaking neighbor. I hope you don't hear that. If you do, it's not me, it's the freaking neighbor. It's apparently hot in the Netherlands, everybody has their fucking windows open. So yeah. I shouldn't complain though, because it's the first day. But I'm gonna put some mint. I know many people don't, but I will put a few leaves of mint because it gives it extra good smell. Can't remember in any other language. Uh, does it say in any other language? No. Uh, <laughs> Seriously, how it's called? Okay, how it's called in Greek? Good question. I can't remember. You can write in the comments below, please. Feel free. And okay, this is done. I put pepper, I put some uh, combine. That. Uh, peppers. Yeah, and now this. You think it's a lot, but it's not really a lot because it's going to dissolve into the mixture in there cool steer 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 so what we try to do here is not only cook the fake ground meat but also remove most of the juices out of it the reason is we're gonna after the qualifying of Formula 1 by the way, hi Jinx, you're probably in Belgium enjoying this from the grandstands although I hear it's raining so haha um, in 6 minutes qualifying starts so I'm gonna go upstairs, I'm gonna turn this off when we come back I'm gonna boil pasta and the idea is we're gonna put it in a big tray place the pasta on the bottom 
the ground meat on top and then we're gonna make the bechamel and stick it in the oven. If this is too liquidy, it's gonna fall in between the pasta and it's not gonna create a separate layer. So the idea is to make the ground meat, like right now it's perfect for if you just use pasta. But we, what we hope to achieve is to remove most of the liquids from here to become a little bit more solid, not solid, but increase See, notification for the Formula One. It starts in five minutes. So I have five minutes to finish this up. And yeah, once it's a little bit more dry, let's say, or more viscous, less viscous, we're gonna place it on top of the cooked pasta and stick it in the oven for the bechamel to cook. Uh, meanwhile, we cover this, more notifications. Uh, we toss this and we're almost ready to go with the Grand Prix. I'm gonna turn this thing high for a second. So now it's boiling a lot. Let's see if you can actually see it. So it's boiling a lot. And we're gonna keep stirring it until the juices run out. What I'll do instead, like I'm gonna cover it and let it be, because when I come back, I need to actually uh, warm it up and stuff. So I'll use a second boil at a time to do it. So now I cover it, I turn it off. Good luck to the team that you support out there and the drivers you support and I'll see you back in uh, about an hour we're back let's fix the camera so yes we're back pasta is ready the meat is the fake meat the meat is ready we have three bottle open the keep eggs big nice one you know as my viewers are alanyares and we begin with the, the greek version of the bechamel so we need so th the ratios are if you're gonna use a full liter of milk you're gonna need about 100 grams of uh, flour and 100 grams of butter so first we begin with the butter but but, 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 but Butter. Now, you can use a scale or you can get a little bit creative with it. So, let's see. This one is 375. Let's say it's 400. So, if we divide it, if we draw three lines, its portion should be about 100 grams. So, uh, we're using a vegetable one without pulp only. And we need something to start drawing it shit out. I would use this. So if we divide this, let's say to equal parts, one, two, three, give or take. So we cut this thing off. I know it's a lot of butter, but you're gonna Try not to put olive oil, it doesn't become good. Don't skip on the eggs because it doesn't rise. And no. oh. Sorry. That's good enough. Get up. Mm, like that. This can go to the fridge because you know, it's the only day in the Netherlands that is actually warm. And we shouldn't leave shit outside. We turn the fire up. Um, and as soon as it starts melting, we're gonna turn the fire down. Throw with this. I don't know, 
everybody is using these cool things, but it, I don't find it very useful in the beginning. I use a normal spoon. I'm trying to melt with the butter first. And as we melt the butter, hmm, didn't think of that. I'm gonna have to start putting flour. Check that it doesn't have like animal inside. Here's a different spoon. spoon. That's a spoon. So that was one kilo up to here so in tenths i would say like this part this part is about three four spoons let's see let's start and we'll see on the way it's a couple of spoons we'll do one more and see where that takes us uh, you stay here you go there and now you steer put your phones to charge Because from now on, you cannot miss it. It's quite an important step. Do I remember how to open the wheel? Yes. Like milk of bucal. Not a lot of. But not all of it at once. It's gonna be difficult to steer and uh, mix. So the idea is that uh, flour and uh, butter should not create little lumps. My lady lumps. So you should keep steering while you're mix. You're warming it up. The milk has to warm up, but not a lot, so when we add the eggs, it should be... Add some more. So I don't have major lumps, I just have little lumps. And um, we keep on stirring. I mean, if you have a butler, yes, cool. You can put him to stir and you can go watch Instagram. But if you're not having one, sucks to be you, you have to do it. Pause it as this is happening. And flip the eggs. You could have utensils for this, I just do this. One. Oh, she was pregnant. The chicken. Save the chicken from like to be murdered later on for somebody to make money so you can eat chicken with rice one day. So maybe with a good thing. And the last eggs. Oh, this one too. Maybe it's not from the same chicken, right? Cool. We've got this in place. Washing, washing, handy, handy. Washing, uh, handy. And we go back with steer. Sh 
steer, 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 like a steering committee. Steering the stakeholders. You know, all this use of these people. Anyways, let's not talk about this. Eventually it's gonna warm up. Meanwhile, we steam. And this is nothing. This is just the beginning. So, pause. I'm gonna put some salt. Maybe one more. Yes. I'm gonna put some pepper. Pepper. Moscarido is in Greek. Fucking hell. And come on, come on. Good basic. So this is done. Now no. We wait a few seconds, we take a fork and we can pick that shit up. Yeah, if you want to do it with calculators and weights and balances and all this shit, you can open a normal... I do it as we do it in my village. I have the file in the lowest point and I just steer in a raising head in the pot. this until it becomes uh, very thick so it's easy the fire is not that high it's at the lowest point and we just keep warming it up and with magic it's gonna like get thicker and as we do with this food we get thicker as well as a good match See, there is no lumps. Because people are complaining about the lumps. Actually, it's not that difficult. Just keep fucking stirring it. It's like, really. See, that's the mobile that I have for the lights. It's not my mobile. Leave your mobile away. Stop the music. Stop doing whatever and just keep stirring it. It's not a big problem, really. It doesn't get bad.
shooter. Okay, this can go to this can. I'm filling the bottom of the pot if it has any flour or anything like that. No, nothing. Comes out clean. So we're doing a good job. We keep this away so we don't do a major fuck up. We can only have small fuck ups. As you can see the color of it can it I don't know. Let's, now you can. So the color of it changes as it warms up. And it's a good indication that this is actually working and it is warming up and it will get thicker. Just just a little bit patient. Keep on still. I guess if it warms up a lot, very much, it's gonna collapse into it like singularity. That would be fun. Have a little black hole in the middle of it. You cannot see it. And you cannot see it because, well, you probably know that photons don't have mass. And if photons don't have mass, you'll be like, Oh, Canelo, if the photons don't have mass, how do they get, how do they get pulled inside the... They don't get really pulled inside. It's what changes is the curvature of space-time around the photons. And there is no way for them to escape that space-time that singularity is creating. Or whatever it is. Instead of Anyways. Photons, photons don't have mass and they won't escape the singularity, not because of the mass, but because of the, of the curvature of space-time. Remember this. I don't think it's going to be very useful in your future, but uh, it's a good shit to know. It's a good uh, opener if you go out on a date or stuff and be like, so what do you do? I don't know, I was uh, observing and collapsing the wave function of some photons, not escaping from the... Look, Jesus, how long it's gonna take this? I can cheat, let it warm up a bit, and then I start... Preparing the casserole. The casserole. We take this, we take this, and we do. Come on. Hot, 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 hot. Um, I used thin pasta. First of all, because uh, a Lebanese guy that I knew in Cincinnati, he did it this way, and I liked it a lot. Also, I couldn't find the, the thick pasta. So, now I cannot even... So like the chicken pasta, you can use a little bit of finger here to space it out. I should have done it from the first time, it's hot and it's gonna do it. And it gets sticky, icky, 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 hoo wee. Put it in the air. Almost there. Almost okay. Girl. Hell yeah. Now we're getting somewhere. Gap over there. We don't like gaps. But wait, don't forget steers. Oh, get lumpy. We steer, we steer, we steer. See? Almost one thing is now. I can feel it on the... Let me explain how I feel it. See? It gets lumpy on the bottom. So that means I was not stirring fast enough. Simple as that. It's, it's not... So yes, it happened again. Round of butter. Um, this is a few hours later. I had some food. Actually, I had a lot of food. And where were we? I was stealing the thingy into the thingy. And then I poured it over the. I had placed the pasta. I had, you remember, I had placed the ground meat. And on top, I poured over the sauce. Uh, 
I put some breadcrumbs, put it in the oven for, I think it was like 40 minutes in total. Um, I put it on pizza setting because it actually pulls from the, it hits from the bottom. So it actually cooks better, I think, the sauce, not only from the top. And then I took it out, it cooled down. I ate it, this is how it looks when it's not covered. And now I have to figure out a way to cover it and put it in the fridge. It came out fantastic. And yeah, as you can see, I ate uh, quite some bit. Well, not only me, I, but yeah. That was it. That was the Greek pasticcio. Sorry for changing the video once again. And I'll see you in the next video. Uh, like, subscribe, all this stuff. Put your comments, what you want to see next, questions you may want to ask, etc. etc. Thank you. Bye.